Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Last time we took care of the Eastern Palace and some of the things you can get with the Pegasus Boots. Uh, this time we are going to be going through the desert here and taking care of dungeon number two. Alright, so these mud men are kind of annoying to say the least. They love just harassing you like levers. Um, there's not a whole lot to this dungeon. <laughs> well, not a whole lot to this dungeon. A whole lot to the desert, is what I mean. Uh, it's not a very big desert, but here it is. That's, gosh, that, that's hard on the eyes. My bad. <laughs> uh, but if you come up to this, it has this strange language written on it. And it looks like Link's like, I can't read it, no! He's just got his hands on the tablet go in his head against it, like, I can't read it! Um, this is what the book's for. I, uh, if you didn't know to grab this beforehand, you would have to figure out why you can't get in. And the book, the game, well, the book, the game never tells you about this. If it does, I forget what NPC does. It's kind of insane. But use the book to open the way forward. Make your wish here and it will be granted. And you have Link kind of gesturing a prayer to the Hylia, I guess? I don't know. Uh, once you do that, the dungeon will open itself and close the way out. Don't worry, it's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to leave just fine. But inside we go into the second dungeon. This is none other than the Eastern Palace. No, it's not the Eastern Palace, my bad. It's the Desert Palace, actually. This game actually will... I didn't actually mention this in the last one, but... The GBA title will actually tell you Level 2, Desert Palace, Level 1, Eastern Palace. It will actually introduce the dungeon. This game doesn't do that. It's like, ah, oh, you know what you're in for. <laughs> so... Hey, it, it's... It's interesting that, that they have that, that much of a, a difference there. Also, I'm noticing I'm pressing a lot of the wrong buttons for what I need to do. <laughs> This is going to bode well, especially considering the last episode where I died to random mobs because game. <laughs> Ugh. These are actual levers. They're annoying, like always. That's a way outside, we don't want that. Um... Oh, great, this is an, in an enemy room. Oh, a trap room is actually the better term for it, but we were able to take care of it easily. Not too bad. Um, this is one of the few dungeons I'm not as familiar with as I would like to be. So, if I'm hesitant about what... about finding certain things, that's probably why. Uh, because I'm trying to remember. Uh, okay, I need the lamp. Or no, I don't. Never mind. Uh, we're fine there. What? What was that? Mm, uh, what does this say? Link, it is I, Sarah Hassela. You must never fail to find all the treasures in each dungeon. Yeah, because in this dungeon specifically, 
uh, the dungeon item doesn't actually help you complete the dungeon. Uh, you can beat the dungeon without it, but you actually need it to progress through the game. So, that's actually a pretty decent hint there. Ow. I forget. Um, no? Or do I just need the light? All of these? Maybe. Hold on. Before I... Before you say anything. There's a thing over here. Head outside the dungeon. Down here, there's a piece of art. Now back into the dungeon. <laughs> Alright. No? There we go. Jeez. This is one of the few games that you can't actually kill the Bemos, so... Yay. Bemos are here to stay, and they're here to be a pain in the neck, so... Yay. Can't tell I'm being facetious. <laughs> about that statement, but hey. It's fine. Uh, this... I believe... Yep. Do not have the big key, so that was completely useless. Uh, going out maybe? No, that's where we got our key. Okay, yeah, I remember. Ah, we need to go over here to where the key is used. And this should be. Golly. Um, ow! Jeez! I will say, Bemos in this game are ridiculously accurate. Here's the big key. Uh, we just gotta go back to the big chest. Which, if we head... Up and then to the left should be in the leftmost room. I mean, if anything, I can look at the map. Yeah, it's right there. That's the nice thing about playing this on the Switch. I don't have to deal with the problem of the game freezing if I use the map. Good grief. The Power Glove! You can feel strength in both hands. You can pick up and carry stones now because you were a complete wimp. Sorry. I just find it silly. It's like, oh yeah, you can't pick up rock. Why? Because you weak. You need big power bracelet to lift things. I just find it silly. Like, some things I can understand, like the bigger rocks, but no, the, the the rocks that are just tiny. You can't lift those. You can lift pots, but not that. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, I take that back. You can't actually finish this dungeon without the power gloves. Because there are rocks in front of the final entrance to the dungeon. I... Uh... It's weird. <laughs> Ow. I'm trying to just navigate that. Alright, I have no time for flo flying floor tiles. You can have a million seats. We've almost gotten max money. That's insane. This is only the third episode. What the heck? Okay, we're at max money. What the heck? Really? Ah. 
That is reminiscent of a future dungeon puzzle where you have to light all the torches before heading on. You can destroy the flying tiles with the sword, it just takes a little bit more patience, I guess. And precise timing, that's the bigger one. Ah, the wall moves! And there you go. The HUD was covering it, but we have a door here that leads to the boss room! Guess who it is? It's Lan Mola! You can use arrows to actually attack this guy from a distance. Um, if you do have a, a upgrade for your arrows later in the game, you can basically one-shot each one of these uh, uh, land molas. Uh, it's insane. Uh, currently, the best um, method of taking them out is using a spin attack. Uh, after so many hits at some point there we go one of them dies uh the residual land molas will become a little bit faster uh but once you defeat two of the three uh it becomes a little bit more difficult the land mole is much quicker makes quicker appearances and on top of that the rocks that he shoots out comes in all eight directions um well, on the north, south, east, west, and then the combination of said di compass directions. He's not... It, this isn't a hard boss. It can be frustrating to deal with, but it's not a hard boss. And there we go. We have completed dungeon number two. We did the whole dungeon in about the same amount of time as the previous episode. <laughs> you won the Pendant of Power. It, even though it's blue, it's not the Pendant of Wisdom. <laughs> Your goal in finding the three pendants is in sight. Go for the last one. All right. Now that we have the Power Gloves, we have access to a lot more. Uh, we're going to be going through all the extra stuff that we can get through uh, with those gloves now. Uh, this cave, I know, has a piece of heart. Um, you need to head in here. Uh, that's Sarah Hassela's cousin. Uh, I don't know what his name would be. Uh... Your trial in the desert has made you stronger. The blood of the hero must be in your veins. Unless that is Sarah Hasselet coming or uh, like journeying with us in some aspect, I don't know. That makes for a whole new heart container. Uh, so we've got that going for us. Uh, we could have came over here earlier. Kind of forgot about it until I saw it as we were leaving. So there we go. Um. Other secrets in the desert will have to wait until we've made further progress in the game. Because we do not have access to them. Uh, also, Burb is super annoying. There we go. There is you. Check out the cave east of Lake Hylia. Strange and wonderful things live in it. Okay. I was about to say, does he give you a thing? I hope he doesn't. Because uh, <laughs> I was thinking it would be money, and with us having max money, that would be completely pointless. Um, we've already checked the cave east of Lake Hylia, so uh, we don't have to worry about that specifically. But there is something we can go do now, and that is going to require us to make a little bit of a trek. Uh, oh my gosh, Bowman, get out. <laughs> get out. 
Get out of here. Um... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is with this game? And the hitboxes these enemies have. Uh, a little bit slow down there. That's weird, but alright. Uh... Oh, nope. Get out of here. Yeah, you completely lost track of the guy that was right in front of your face the entire time. Need only use your eyes. Alright. Uh, let's get a heal from inside. Alright. Da da da. Now, these rocks, in particular, I guess, are super heavy. Link can't lift them, so. We'll leave it at that. Anything he can't lift, his face gets completely red, which I find kind of funny. <laughs> Makes sense, but hey, it's still funny regardless. Um, these we can do our dash. Ow. Also, these guys, they're really weird. I'll just go ahead and say it, they're weird. Especially when you do that and you can talk to them. Try to die, do for Shadow has to die. And you still can't attack them either. They, they'll, they'll shock you. The only way you can really kill them is long range. Um, you could also... You can freeze them. And you can deal with them that way. Or you can use a boomerang, arrows, stuff like that. Alright, make sure that's taken care of, because I don't want to have to deal with it. Alright. Head up here. Um, we'll get that piece of heart in a minute. We don't have access to it right now. We will in a minute, but not currently. Actually, I think I need to be in the middle here. No, I don't. I was right. I had it right. <sighs> also, these the, this is one of the few games where Zoras are complete jerks. No! <laughs> Alright, fine. Except this Zora. Ah, what do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? I want some flippers. Ah, I just don't give flippers away for free. I sell them for 500 rupees a pair. What do you do? I pay the 500. Yeah. One pair of flippers coming up. It will give you a free bonus with the purchase. I will let you use the magic waterways of the sea folk, which link lakes and rivers. When you see a whirlpool, dive into it. You never know where your service. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, we got some flippers! Now we should be able to swim even in deep water. Yeah, so now we can actually swim around, not having a problem. Pretty early on that you can get that upgrade. You just need the money for it. We actually almost have enough money for a second pair. Uh, but we don't need a second pair. We're the only ones using these anyway. Uh, that's it here. We can just go, go ahead and leave. Sorry. I hope I cut all of that out. Jeez. Alright. Head in to the waterfall here, because there's a little secret. Mysterious pun. Once you throw something in, throw an item. Okay, so you do have a selection of the items you currently have in your inventory. There's only a couple things we can upgrade. One of them is our shield. Hello there. Did you drop this? Yeah, that looks like our shield. 
I like an honest person. I'll give you something better than in return. In doing so, we get a level 2 shield. Your shield is improved. Now you can defend yourself against fireballs. Now our shield is pretty cool. Um, the next thing I want to throw in is our boomerang. Yes. And she gives us a new boomerang. The magical boomerang. You can throw this faster and farther than your old one. I There isn't any... Yeah, there isn't anything else we can get as an upgrade, so... I, we got that. And it's got little sparkles. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway. We got a sparkly boomerang that goes incredibly far. Um, it goes across the screen, so... Uh, Still doesn't really damage anything, but uh, it's really good at stunning enemies. So, that is something you do want to keep in mind. Uh, also, here's a whirlpool. Now, if you look where this dropped you off, it's all the way down here. And there is a reason I took it that you do want to be down here. Uh, for the next thing that is now available to you now that you have the flippers. Uh, that will be inside here. And this is the Pond of Happiness. Throw some rupees in your, in, 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 and your wishes surely will come true. Do you want to throw rupees? I'll throw a few. How many will you toss? Uh, we'll throw 20. Happiness increased 20 rupees. In total, your happiness is 20. You became happier by one step. For your reference, today you will have a little luck. <laughs> so, there's a reason why you actually want to do this. Uh, to actually activate anything in regards to it, you do need to increase uh, it to 100. And you can do this multiple times. And let's kind of rush back before we... There we go. There's a there's a little time limit to do this. Throw in a few. Well, no, not at five. Ah, uh, fine. We'll have good luck this time. All right. Uh, yes. Throw. I I, I got to do this on the nose, otherwise it's gonna bug me. Uh, because oh no, we have big trouble. <laughs> um. The whole idea is essentially, uh, if you've, I guess, like, a, a, a penny fountain, if any of you guys ever remember that. Oh, Big Trouble again. Jeez. I mean, we had Big Trouble last episode. <laughs> Jeez, did you see how many times I died? <laughs> um, we'll have great luck. Nice. It, it has no bearing. It's just very random about what it tells you. Uh, we'll have a little luck. So, the idea behind this is to increase the happiness 200 and then a, a fairy will appear and we'll be able to take care of it. Normally it takes less time than that, but since I tossed in five, I wanted to make sure I tossed in four other fives. Well, three other fives to offset that so I don't go over. Because you don't, it doesn't transfer to the next bit. Uh, you get to increase the amount of bombs or arrows you want. I'm going to increase my bombs, because I, that does mean something. Now, we've done that once, we can do this multiple times, and we can do it at greater amounts. Throw in a few, uh, it now does 25 or 50. So, you only have to do it twice now, every time you want to increase the limit of how much of uh, bombs or arrows you want to carry. There is a maximum to this, uh, I believe it's 50 bombs and 70 arrows. Uh, we're gonna do a couple of 
Right, we're gonna do this until we only have the one ruby left because we don't have anything we need to buy right now. And I having these uh, upgrades I, as far as like having the the extra space for it is incredibly nice. So it, it saves you from having to farm for some things later on. Uh, I think what we'll do currently is we'll upgrade the arrows to 40 and the bombs to 25. And I am going to be, uh, like, try. I'm going to try to increase uh, the... Part of the 100% is to increase all this to the max, so... Uh, we'll, we'll be working on that throughout the, the whole series here. I want more arrows. Also, having a lot of arrows in this uh, is going to be very good. <laughs> you want more arrows than you want bombs anyway. Um, I wish they just had it, hey, throw in 50 or throw in 100. But no, they don't do that. They make you do it more than once. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, I will go ahead and make a little bit of a confession here. I did not know this is what this pawn did when I first played the game, because I didn't do it with a guide. Oh, I increased arrows instead of boss. All right, it's fine. Um, <laughs> and so I did the final boss fight uh, with, I, I got to the final boss with only 10 bombs and 30 arrows. So imagine how hard that was. <laughs> To deal with. Um, well, well, we've got that. That's a heart piece we certainly can't get to for quite a bit. Um, we're gonna head up here. Um, head under the bridge here, and we come across a dude snoozing. Yo, Link! You seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can get. That's fine! We got a bottle! We got the third of four bottles already. Um... I'm trying to think of where that fourth... Yeah, I know where that fourth bottle is. We can't get that one for quite a while as well. So... We're kind of SOL on that, but we do have other things we can get, and I'm going to be aiming to get them. All right. Come on. Come on, Link. We're going on a further adventure than we did before. Uh, I don't know. All right. Now we're poor again. <laughs> we only have three rupees to our name because uh, we spent all of it getting upgrades. Uh, <laughs> some of it necessary upgrades, such as flippers for swimming. Um, we need to make sure that we have that ability to... Again, it's one of the few games where you have to pay to win, legitimately. Well, thankfully, not your real money, your actual money. It's just in-game money, but still, it's pay to win because you actually need to pay a bunch of money for progress in the story. So, huh? Really? I thought there was a piece of heart down there. That's my bad. That is something we cannot get to because uh, of those. Uh, black rocks there. We can go in this one, though. No? I gotta do it this way? Fine. Fine game. Be like that. Alright, we're back un in the, the sewer system here. And we are left with 10 arrows, 300 rupees, and bombs. Yep. 
Another reason why I didn't come here when I didn't have, uh, when I had 900 rupees. Uh, because that would have been a waste. So, there. Let's just keep on going. Really? What? I mean, I guess I get it. Yeah, you don't want it to just be always open or something. This must be really weird. Like, why did you come through there again? <laughs> uh, yeah, she says it, it, it. I guess that's the other thing. Like, if you don't know where to go, there is someone that can give you a hint to know, and that's the fortune teller. Instead of the game just blatantly telling you, hey, this is what you need to do, <laughs> go do it. I. Uh, before they invented the, hey, listen, uh, this is what they came up with. Go spend money at a fortune teller to figure out what your next step is in the adventure that you have to save the entire world from. <laughs> there we go. Uh, no, they're still working on that. Alright. Get a little bit of magic back. Alright, do some lifting. Get out of here. Uh, hopping down. There's not that much to this area. Well. I say that and I immediately fall into a, a hole in the ground. Uh, just head this way. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but if you're going to go up the mountain, will you take me with you? I've lost my lamp, so... Now we are escorting Old Man. Uh, this guy's never given a name. Uh, watch your step. These are holes in the ground. Could you turn right here? Young man, are you going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved with such a mad quest. Well, we're doing this to save a uh, save a princess. But yes, as as long as you're with somebody, your Pegasus boots will run this slow. <laughs> Not even joking. Uh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter who's your age. The king took her to the castle, and she never returned. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot. I'm sure he's trying to use the power of the descendants of the wise men. Kind of giving us a little... <laughs> I love how his feet's kind of just trotting along. <laughs> it, it, the, the little... I guess... Well, it's not his feet. It... Yeah, it, his feet do it. You can tell he's trying to keep up with you, but he's an old man. He can't really do a good job of it. Oh, come on, get out. <laughs> I love that. The missing maidens are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. Wait for that day. Uh, these dangerous times. I've talked too much. Anyway, thank you for your kindness to an old man like me. I wanted to give you this. If you wander into a magical transporter, gaze into this mirror. I gave you the magic mirror. The mirror is blue, clear, and beautiful. You feel like it's going to absorb you into another world. Thanks for the iframes right there. But you come inside and talk to him. Now the wizard was has deceived the king. Now he's trying to open the way to the dark world. To complete your quest, you will need the Moon Pearl, which is in the tower at the top of the mountain. All I can do for you now is to comfort your weariness. Come back here anytime. Yeah, he gives you a full heal. Uh, and in the next one, we will head on up the mountain. We're, we're making some progress. I will see you all in the next one. Later. Thank you.